Hello and welcome to Fundamentals of Imagineer Systems Mocha with me, Ben Brownlee. These tutorials are meant as a quick way into Mocha so that you can understand what you're doing rather than just, you know, hoping for the best. Now, as you'll see, one of the big advantages with Mocha's tracker is that you can get, you know, rather good results without actually doing a lot of work. Now, obviously, this is a good thing, but it means that when you come to a slightly trickier piece of footage that doesn't track instantly, you can be a bit confused about how you go about solving that problem. And that's what we're going to be looking at now. Now, the core functionality of Mocha really breaks down to planar tracking and mask creation. Now, of course, we have features that come off of that, like the 3D camera solve, the insert, remove and stabilize. But at the core of it, the main skills you'll need to know is how to create a good track and how to drive shapes out of that track as well. Now, before we get into Mocha's tracking, let's look at what Mocha doesn't do. And the first one of those is going to be point tracking. Now, you'll know point tracking from pretty much every other piece of software. All compositing software has at least a point tracker in there. Uh, in fact, even plugins have point trackers built in uh, to them now. And the point tracker consists of our center point, our feature that we're tracking, and the outer search box for where we're going to be tracking past that. Now, the big advantage for point tracking is that it is fast. It's in fact very fast. And when we've got a very clear feature like we're showing here, then everything works out absolutely fine. The problem comes if we start to throw anything a bit more um, challenging at it, something with a, uh, a bit of blur or a bit of noise, uh, or even fast motion, then the point tracker can uh, quite quickly fall apart. Or if we're trying to track a feature that has very limited contrast in it as well, this is also another issue for, uh, for point trackers. 3D match moving software also uses uh, point trackers or feature trackers anyway, uh, by picking up um, certain features based off of contrast to then go out and generate the camera data or the tracking data that it needs to. And these are often gonna be a mixture of automatic features and manual tracking features as well. What Mocha does is instead of tracking uh, single features or single areas, it tracks planes. And a plane in geometric terms is a, a, a 2D shape, a flat 2D shape. And if I turn on my, we'll just see what I'm doing here in a bit, a bit more detail afterwards. But um, instead of just tracking uh, one small point here, what I'm doing is I'm tracking a region of this image here. And Mocha isn't just looking at uh, one individual area that I've given it to to look at and working out a point from that. It's taking a look at this entire shape here and it's checking out the movement of this shape and out of that movement, it's then generating up this four corner surface. Uh, and it's this surface as we'll see in later exercises. It's this surface here that shows us our track data. So instead of just taking out one point, we've got four points to take out, but not just four points. We can describe an entire plane so I can easily offset the shape to describe this entire area around here. And if I press play back on that, we can see that now that entire region has been successfully tracked out of just tracking this one small region here. And this opens up a whole range of uh, possibilities for doing offset tracking or relative tracking uh, when we have to, uh, to deal with troublesome footage. In the next exercise, we're gonna be delving into the Mocha interface. So join me there. 